Alrighty then. We are recording. Um, I just want to show off um this editor, HTML editor I have here. Um, um it's similar to something like JS Fiddle, only there's it's more geared towards beginners, but for an advanced user there are other features there that you could probably find helpful. Um, this is the HTML section. It's pretty easy to figure out. You just type what you want. Um, CSS, that's uh, for styling, um, centering and changing for colors and backgrounds and all that stuff. For those not familiar with HTML, uh, the JavaScript tab, um, this is where you do all your programming. Uh, I have some default stuff in here for debugging and such. The iframe tab is where it gets run. Everything runs within the browser. You don't have to upload it to a server and wait for it, propagate and whatnot. You just hit the run button and everything that was in the HTML tab, CS and JavaScript tabs, stand up. This is the debug. I'll hit run again. This is the debug over here that I was telling you about. Good for popping up messages. You can set the timer. If you want it to stay up there a bit longer, you can just increase the timer. And everything is, as you type it and just hit run, everything just happens to go in there instantly. It's great for beta testing. Or even testing anything. There's a calculator tab. Or you can type in simple math equations and hit do math. Or you can do more complex examples like that are listed here. You just paste them in. Um, this generates a random number. It rounds it and it's between 2 and 6. And if I hit do math, I get a 2 and a 4, 6. So every time I hit the button, I get a different number. You, there are other functions here for base64, um, and there's hex. Um, for example, if you had an FF and you want to know the decimal, which it's 255, and you can convert it back and forth as you need it. Um, I may add more functions there for binary and stuff, I don't know if it's needed that much, but hex is pretty popular when you're programming. It is to me anyway. There's a regex tester. Um, basically lets you live test your regex. You paste your data here that you want to scan through and this is the line um, as you type. Uh, it changes down below and gives you your results. So it makes it a lot easier for figuring out what the regex actually does. Um, there's a cheat sheet over in the help. We'll get to that later. Um, I made a table tab. Um, making tables is a pain for when you actually want to do it. Say if you wanted an 8x8 eight eight table. Making that by hand is just a pain. It automatically generates it. Um, I might update it so that you can click and set what you want from here, but it's easy enough to do from the HTML tab. So you hit to HTML and you go over to the HTML tab and there's your table. It just gets pasted onto the bottom. So you actually have to put it inside the code properly where it should go. And then when you hit run again, you have your table. And you can just edit the values as you need to. Uh, it also throws in some CSS. Yep, some CSS so that the, the, the squares actually get put in there. The outlines, borders. Yeah, that's the word. Okay, so we did calc, we did regex, table. 
And there's also a form utility here. Um, basically, as you need it, this one creates the form. Just like that. You can change your action as you need to. Uh, back to form. And you can add in whatever buttons you need. It just saves a lot of typing and remembering what stuff is. Especially as a beginner, you don't know what does what or what to look up. So if you want to add a button, you just click the button. And then there's a button down here. You just put your button inside your form. And you're good to go. You can have a form with a button. I'm not going to click it because it might actually take me off the page. Um, before testing anything, like a form button, you should always use the save button. Uh, notes is just for future use. I might add something else in here. I'm not sure what. They aren't saved, as it says. Um, so use it at your own risk type thing. There's a help tab, which contains information on what all the buttons do up here like run save open um, and all the tabs across the top there's the regex help that I was talking about later so you don't have to look it up most of the common ones are in here I don't have everything because there's a lot to cover under regex there's a javascript cheat sheet Document get element by ID, so you don't have to type it all out. You just copy and paste. Um, there's your mouse events. Because uh, what you type in in HTML is different than what you type in in JavaScript. So it's good to have a reference there. Um, there's some sample code for getting stuff from a keyboard. It's geared towards gaming. There's some sample code for Canvas, and there should be a mouse code. Did I skip that? Yeah, mouse code. There's some sample code for getting data from the mouse. And then there's some Canvas stuff to show you how to draw rectangles and lines and set up your Canvas. And some CSS help. Various hints there. Um, to show what CSS does to help you out and colors were another thing is trying to guess the hex number you don't have to just use the sliders here and pick the color that you want and there's your hex number or you can use this button here and this looks different on every browser when you click this button sometimes these values don't even show up and you can just pick your number from here and the hex number shows up. Hex number is mostly used in the HTML tab or CSS tab, I guess. So instead of black, you just paste the color that you got and then the outlines of that color. So yeah. Um, Oh, and one more thing I'll mention here is the save button. If you hit the button, it'll ask you for a file name. So you can choose which file name you want to save it as. But if you just hit Control S while in one of these tabs, um, it won't prompt you for a file name. It'll just save it as whatever the last thing was. And open just opens it. Save saves all three of these tabs together. So everything is saved there. When you hit open, it puts it all back in the right tabs. So you can just hit run. So this is it. I plan on adding more in here because I want to make it more game friendly for building games from scratch type thing. So there will be a lot more added here as I get time. Um, you can basically use this offline. I think you can just basically load up the page and keep it in your browser and then go offline 
say if you're using data or something, and this use the tab entirely offline, run will still work the same. So it's great for that too, and you have the decently large help file loaded up. So pretty good. Um, just let me know what you think if you decide to give it a try. Um, I do have a game. Um, where I actually build a game in here. I, I have one set up. I just got to do the video. Uh, maybe I'll do that later to show you. You beginners, how to uh, actually make a game from HTML, and you won't need a web server. Oh, and F12 seems to be the debugger key. Um, let's see. I'll add some code here quickly. So this will go to the debugger over here. It'll supposed to say hi. Where'd it go? Echo. Oh, there it is. I had it turned off. So yeah. Make sure your debugger's on. Well, by default it should be anyway, but whatever you type here will show up in the debugger. Great if you want to throw a, an array in there or something that's easier to see. But anyway, that is it. Um, like I said before, just let me know what you think. Useful. Give me a shout out. And that's it for now until next time. Later.